With pandemic restrictions removed, local tourism officials are looking forward to a return to normal. And following a hectic Memorial Day weekend, it appears our region could be in for a busy summer. Joining us now is Taylor Peterson, President and CEO of Travel Superior, the Superior and Douglas County Travel Bureau. Taylor, can't thank you enough for being here. We want to talk a little bit about uh, travel and tourism. Just how tough was the past year on local tourism? Th thanks for having me, Denny. Um, it was a tough one. You know, I, I think every industry felt it, uh, but unfortunately the tourism industry, hospitality, food, beverage, felt it the hardest. And uh, it, it really was, was a shock, especially initially. Yeah. But uh, the, the upside, the positive here is, is it's coming back faster than, uh, you know, for the, for the Twin Ports yeah. region, Superior Douglas County, um, faster than a lot of areas. Well, and that's my really next question. That, Just yeah. what do you expect now this summer in the region? I've seen a lot of people out and about. I, I think we're really well positioned to have a good tourism year. Uh, lodging uh, is, is up, you know, camping is up, outdoor recreation is, is huge. Um, it, it, we're seeing more people on trails and parks than we've ever seen. This region, this part of the state, both Wisconsin and Minnesota, seems to be bouncing back a little quicker than other parts of the state. To what do you think you can attribute that? Yeah, uh, one thing that we've always done a really nice job of focusing on is, is our out outdoor recreation, uh, whether that's biking, hiking, fishing, uh, boating, anything you can do outdoors, it's perceived as safe. Um, it, you, chances are you're able to do it by yourself or with your loved ones. And, uh, and that's something that's really given us an advantage during a pandemic um, for, for attracting that type of yeah. tourism. Well, the Twin Ports really does tend to have a, a great draw, both Duluth and Superior do. Absolutely. Uh, to, do you contribute that then to uh, all the outdoor activities that we have, all the possibilities to get outside? It's definitely helped. There's mm -hmm. no question about it. And to a tourist, they don't draw borders on States. They don't draw borders on counties. Um, they'll, they're here for the experience, sure. and they're they're excited to be here. Are tourists spending money here? Absolutely. Yep. Uh, they they really are. Uh, we we published some results um, back in May. The the Department of Tourism for Wisconsin, uh, Travel Wisconsin, uh, releases numbers every year. And and even though we saw a decrease in 2020, yeah, uh, we still saw approximately 82.7 million in direct visitor spending in Douglas County. That's real dollars, that's real jobs, that's real taxes that, are, that our citizens don't need to pay. Could that double this year or maybe close to it? Um, that's, that's a pretty good stretch, but uh, I, I do think that um, we'll have a really nice year. Mm -hmm. I'm really hopeful that we'll have a nice year. Um, I mean, we're, we're working through staffing challenges and workforce, um, but I, I do think that, um, that, that our, our businesses are positioned to do well yeah. and, and tourism is positioned to do well. So hopefully that trend stays uh, and hopefully numbers of, of COVID and the pandemic stay low. Mm -hmm. um, but, but yeah, we're, we're looking to have hopefully a pretty nice year. Taylor, how can the Visitors Bureau plan itineraries for any kind of group that might, might come up here, maybe conventions or other kinds of groups? Yep, that's a, that's a tough one. Um, so that kind of comes down to comfort level of the groups of whether it be a, a sporting event, a convention, um, a meeting, in a small meeting, uh, anything. It, you know, we, that's part of what we do as a visitor bureau and, and destination mm -hmm. marketing organization is we work to give them the best experience possible. There are a number of very modern motels in the city of Superior. Another one's coming up, is that on Tower Avenue? It is, yeah, correct. Uh, Cobblestone Hotels is building in downtown Superior. Um, once that opens, it'll really liven up the downtown area. We, we are seeing some great momentum right now, but I think that'll add just an, another dimension to, to mm -hmm. that development. If any tourist happens to be watching this program, right now in their motel what would you recommend they do while they're here everything whatever <laughs> you're, whatever your interest is we, uh -huh. we have something for you um, and, and collectively as a region we really do um, you know we offer a little bit of everything and, and we're we're in a good spot to welcome tourists um, so whether it's an event that that happens this summer uh, whether it's somebody coming to to literally sit in a hotel room and read a book uh, or, or anything in between enjoying the outdoors we, we have something for yeah. you superior is noted for its museums yeah, absolutely. We have, we have a, a number of, of fantastic museums, and, uh, and I've never seen as much collaboration uh, as, as they're doing right now. So I think they're really interested in giving the, the visitor the best experience possible. Mm -hmm. I don't know of many tourists well. who don't like to shop. So yep, if they absolutely. like to shop, what can Superior offer? Um, so yeah, we, we have a really nice selection of retail locations. Um, once again, we were strong in outdoors, 
if you're looking to get outdoor gear, um, we, we have some great options for you in terms of where you can buy some of that gear. Sounds like you're uh, really bracing for a wonderful summer in Superior. I hope so. Okay. Absolutely. Taylor Peterson, thank you very kindly. President and CEO of Travel Superior. Appreciate you being here. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much.